Hello, this is Terry Patrick, Regional Sales Manager for Amphitrend. Uh, today we're going to go over the Eon Store DS1000 series. Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody so much for taking the time. Hopefully this will be beneficial for you. We'll go over some of the highlights of the 1000 series, um, talk about the benefits to it, and really where it fits in the marketplace. So the DS1000 series, you know, reinforced by reliability for some of the SMBs that are out there. Um, but really what it comes down to is being able to do things on our 1000 series like 380,000 IOPS, um, you know, on the redundant controller units. Our super capacitor that we have now with the battery backup. Um, but the biggest thing where people will talk more about this um, is the scalability factor. So up to 324 hard drives, over 2 petabytes of capacity available inside of this 1000 series. But just to give you a brief overview of Infratrend, for those of you who are not familiar with this, we've actually been in the industry since 1993. Uh, we're fully focused on the storage. We've been on the IPO uh, on the Taiwan Stock Exchange since 2002. We're headquartered in Taiwan. We have factories in Taiwan, and we also have worldwide branches that are out there. Uh, about 540 employees worldwide and our CEO is named Stone Loan. We are a one-stop design and manufacturing company. What that means is we're in-house technologies, including our ASIC firmware, hardware, systems integration, which allows us to be able to do things like be faster to the market um, when we're leasing some of these technologies. And so whether it was the SATA drive rate arrays all the way to the 16 gig fiber, um, you know, we're first to be able to get out there in a lot of these different categories. You can see some of the images below. Uh, those are some of our testing facilities and manufacturing facilities. Uh, so we have all state-of-the-art technology. Why Eon Store DS1000? Well, it's easy. There are certain factors that every customer wants to be able to see. They want an enterprise class array, and they want it at the low cost. So with the 1000 series, we can give them the scalability. We can give them all the different host connectivity options, all the data services, ease of use, reliability, and of course, the low, low costs. Let's talk about the target customers for the DS1000 series. SMB, some of the local campuses that are out there, branch, remote offices, um, departments and large organizations that they need their own dedicated storage and they can't utilize or they can't share those resources uh, with other departments. This is a perfect fit for them. Let's talk about vertical markets. So some of the target applications that we target are obviously going to be backup, archiving, some of the media editing, video surveillance. Uh, all of these applications, we know, they, they require a large amount of raw storage. Um, the transactional databases with crazy IOPS that are needed, maybe our DS3000 series would be a better fit for them. Uh, but at least we have offerings for both. Some of the model options that we have, we try to keep it as simple as possible. So 2U 12-bay, 3U 16-bay single or dual controllers. When we're looking at the specification, anybody can see this online. You're always welcome to go out there and you can see all these different, uh, all these different data sheets. Uh, but this is comparing our, our 1012G, which is a single controller unit, to a 1012R, which is redundant controller unit. Um, you can see really the most important thing uh, to me when looking at this for customers with big data applications, backup, archiving, is that max drive capacity. So you're talking about 312 drives possible when utilizing these 60-bay j And um, That's incredible, especially when you look at the cost point that our 1000 series is coming in at. Uh, this is just the 16-bay offerings. And so on the 16-bay, 316 hard drives possible utilizing the 60-bay JVODs. Again, single redundant controllers, uh, the different host connectivity types. So when we talk about operating systems, you want a system that's going to be qualified to run most operating systems that are out there, just in case you run into a scenario where you do need something a little off the wall to be able to utilize. Um, well, us, you know, we are certified with the Windows Server operating systems, uh, Red Hat Linux, SUS Linux, uh, Sun Solaris, the UX, AIX, VMware, Zen Server, Mac OS. Uh, we are certified in all of those, which is fantastic for us to be able to offer from top to bottom of our products. So when you talk about scalability, with our units, we can expand out to 316 hard drives with JBot expansion. 
What's great about that is the support of drives that we offer. So whether we're talking about small form factor drives, we can actually do all the way up to a two terabyte SSD drive. Um, if we're talking about the 10K drives, I mean, we can do up to 1.2 terabytes on a 10K SAS drive. Then we can get down into the large form factor drives. For those customers who are looking for a lot of capacity, we can do all the way up to a six terabyte nearline SAS drive or a five terabyte SATA drive. So very, very nice offerings from us. And we do that really depending on what fits best inside of your organization, your company, and what you're trying to get accomplished. So if we were taking a look at the 12-bay units, and uh, you know with that 12-bay, we wanted to um, expand out with the 12-bay JBot. Well, we can actually add 14 of those um, to this unit, give you a total of 180 drives. Um, or, if you, or if you were doing the 16-bay and you wanted to scale out with the 16-bay JBot, well, we can do up to 240 hard drives there. So, again, it's really about what your business practice needs. And now we have our uh, larger high-density type chassis, so our 48-bays and our 60-bays um, on the JBot side. So if your organization is really going to need a lot of capacity, um, well, this is a great solution for you to take a look at because our 48 bay or our 60 bay chassis is a 4U device, so it's not going to take up um, many U's inside of your rack. It is a longer box, but again, you're talking high density, um, high capacity, great performance in here. I mean, we can scale all the way out to 316 hard drives, um, depending on which models we're looking at here. So it's, it's great performance, capacity, and scalability for you. And then we just take a look at the expansion enclosures as a whole. So the different form factors, a 2U 12-bay, 3U 16-bay, um, and then just well, just as I was saying, a 4U 48 and a 4U 60-bay. Um, all those are going to have the expansion ports on the back, the two 6-gig SAS ports per controller, and then the drive support, whether you're trying to do 2.5-inch or 3.5-inch, we have options for all. So data services. Uh, for us, data services are things like thin provisioning, which is going to help you increase your storage utilization upwards to 80%. It's your local replication piece, your snapshots, volume copy, volume year. You have a, a light license basically for that right out of the gate, which will give you 128 target snapshots and up to 64 replicated pairs uh, for volume copy, volume year. But you can easily just go and get an advanced license um, and upgrade that, and then you can get upwards to 4,000 target snapshots and up to 256 uh, replicated pairs. So very easy, very simplistic to do. Um, automated storage tiering, another huge offering for us, especially on a 1,000 series, which is uh, you know on the um, uh, on the lower end to to make something more cost effective. Uh, we give you two tiers that you can actually do right now. So an SSD tier and a SAS tier. Um, you, you can easily do something like that right now. And later on this year, we'll actually increase that to four um, different tiers that are available to do. And so it's very nice. It's very cost effective. Um, and it's just always an easy way to be able to handle your storage. And then, of course, ease of use is always a big thing for us. And so, you know, our Sandwatch 3.0 is a browser-based application. And it supports Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, all, all the basics that are out there. Uh, but it's very intuitive. It's very easy to maneuver around, configure, set up, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, we recently redesigned this, and so the GUI interface is very nice to look at, very easy to maneuver. Um, and then, of course, we have the multi-language support. Uh, right now, it covers English, German, French, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. We talk about host board options. This is another key factor inside of our devices that a lot of our competitors don't offer, and that is the ability to add in an I.O. board. And with that I.O. board, whether you want to do 8 gig fiber, 16 gig fiber, 1 gig iSCSI, 10 gig E, uh, whether that's RJ45 or SFP Plus, um, and then direct attached 6 gig SAS connections. Well, we can give you the offerings for all of those. Your base model is always going to be the same. You're just going to have an empty slot in there to pick which host connectivity type that you would like to add. Um, because again, you're already going to have onboard uh, 1 gig iSCSI ports that are on there. So this is additional that you would be adding to it. Um, so it's, it's very nice, very easy, and one of the great things, say you wanted to start with 1 gig iSCSI today and um, one year from now, you decide, eh, I really need more performance, I need to go to 10 gig E, um, but I really don't want to buy another storage unit. 
We don't have to now. Now all you have to do is buy the new 10 gig e I.O. board and then of course change some settings inside of your system but you replace the I.O. boards and now you're off and running and you don't have to invest in an entire new storage solution just to be able to get that done. So with over 20 years of the experience and millions of these units out there worldwide and we, we truly do have one of the highest marks of quality in the industry. Uh, we give you a standard warranty three years with the option of up to five a super capacitor and flash um, to help uh, with sudden power outages or anything else that should occur uh, but I can tell you I, I've been with the company for about four years now and I've worked many and many of trade shows and I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody come up to me and say Wow, you know, I just wanted to say hi. I've had one of your infratrim boxes in my uh, in my system for uh, you know six, seven years, even sometimes, and I've never had an issue with it. The thing is a tank; it gets it done. So it's just phenomenal for us to hear, phenomenal for us to be able to push out. And then, of course, the cost range. So if you're talking MSRP, uh, you know, from just under three thousand dollars upwards to six thousand dollars. I mean. That's huge inside of the, the, the data arena uh, for what we can really do. I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen to me speak about our DS1000 series. I hope that it was beneficial to you. I hope you have a better understanding as far as where you can truly position um, this product, what customers will really benefit um, from these units, these arrays, uh, how cost effective it is, the scalability factor to it. Um, it is truly a phenomenal product for us to have and an offering for us to have. So, um, again, thank you very much. This is Terry Patrick, Regional Sales Manager of Infratrend. I uh, hope to hear from you soon.